Being a condominium landlord in Thailand can be a lucrative investment choice, but it also comes with its own set of expectations and challenges. In this video, we'll discuss the expectations of being a condominium landlord in Bangkok and how to navigate them successfully. Firstly, it's important to understand that the rental market in Thailand is heavily influenced by short-term rentals and tourism, particularly in popular cities like Phuket, Pattaya and Bangkok. Thailand is also a preferred destination for digital nomads and remote workers due to its cheaper standard of living, exciting nightlife, beautiful landscapes, accessibility and air links to all parts of the world strong internet network and common use of English language. Therefore, as a landlord, it is common to find requests to rent your condominium for shorter term rental periods from one to six months. In Bangkok, Moon's condos frown upon daily and weekly rentals, but a one-month rental tenure is fully acceptable. Additionally, as a condominium landlord in Bangkok, you are expected to provide a clean and well-maintained property for your tenants. Most of the maintenance responsibilities falls onto the landlord such as aircon cleaning and repairs and if there are water leakages in the piping. This is on top of the yearly condo common fees you are expected to pay as an owner. This means you need to be prepared to invest in regular maintenance to ensure your property is in tip-top condition for your tenants. You should therefore Consider these potential additional expenses if you wish to become a condominium landlord in Thailand. Another expectation of being a condominium landlord in Thailand is to have a good understanding of the legal and regulatory requirements. If you rent out your property to a foreigner, the responsibility falls on the landlord to provide notification to the Thai immigration through submission of TM30. This is done through the Thai immigration website or app, but you first need to register an account using your title deed or channel. Failure to comply may lead to criminal action and heavy penalties against the landlord. It also affects the tenant as he or she may have a problem extending their visa or having issues with their 90-day report. You should also pay your common fee and property taxes on time to minimize any inconvenience to your tenant. Tenants are also very wary of landlords with bad debts as nobody wants to be suddenly kicked out of their homes. Being a condominium landlord requires you to be responsive to tenant inquiries and concerns and be prepared to negotiate and compromise with tenants to resolve any issues that may arise. If you have a busy work schedule and can't do this part well, you should consider hiring an intermediary such as a property agent or management company. By providing active assistance and a well-maintained property, you can expect your tenant to continue renewing the lease and staying for a longer period of time. Finally, as a landlord, you should be proactive in checking that your rent comes into your bank account on time and flag it immediately if there is any delay in payment. You should also track your expenses in a spreadsheet and do periodic assessments on your property balance sheet. As in any investment, Keeping a keen watch on your finances ensures that your investment remains healthy and profitable. Get rid of bad tenants fast and strive hard to keep the good ones to stay longer. As a proactive landlord or using the help of a proactive agent as your long-term partner and advisor, you can make your rental property a success and earn a steady stream of passive income. If you have enjoyed our video, do remember to give us a like and share and remember to subscribe to our channel for more future similar content. Goodbye!